Welcome to Well Traveled Life with Jonathan and Jennifer. Today we are in Sydney Harbour in New South Wales. of New South Wales and it lies in about the center of the state on the eastern coastline. If you're coming into Sydney from the north you'll be going through Manly and the headlands up there which is just beautiful. But even though it's on the coast it's actually in a fairly protected harbor and getting into Sydney by boat means that you're going to go through some really beautiful landscapes to get there and there's a number of craggy harbors that you can explore within the city. If you are coming in by cruise ship, chances are you'll be coming in early in the morning. It is worth getting up to see the views as you come into the harbor. There is nothing like Sydney at daybreak. As Sydney is a huge cruise ship harbor, there are two pretty distinct and very different cruise ship locations. You can be at the overseas passenger terminal, which is right near Circular Quay, or you may be at the White Bay Terminal. And that is a little further away, it's further inland and a little bit harder to get to and a little bit further from some of the tourist places that you might be wanting to go. If your port is the overseas passenger terminal, this is literally your view. You have the bridge on one side of you and then you will have a view of Circular Quay which extends right out to the Opera House. So you've got the two iconic pieces of architecture that define Sydney on either side of you. And if your ship is at the White Bay Terminal, you will actually pass under the bridge, which is an experience and you wanna be there for that. And you'll go through the city and you will actually be docked closer to the Anzac Bridge, which is also iconic and a beautiful bridge. If you're docked at the Overseas Passenger Terminal, you are right at The Rocks, which is a really cool neighborhood with lots of shops, hotels, really great restaurants and cafes. If you're interested in doing the Sydney Bridge Climb, this is also the starting point for that, so you're really close. Circular Quay is also a bus, train, and ferry terminal area, so you'll have transportation throughout the city starting from there. That's also where you would find lots of your wildlife and water-based sightseeing tours. You can walk all around the exterior of the Opera House and you can get tours of the interior or behind the scenes tours. The Opera House is on a promontory on the east side of Circular Quay. Just inland from the Opera House is the Royal Botanic Gardens and absolutely worth walking through there. It's really a beautiful natural space. And just on the edge of the Botanic Garden grounds is St. Mary's Cathedral, which is where most walking and bus tours begin from. Moving further inland and towards White Bay Terminal is Darling Harbor and the Pyramont Bridge which crosses it and from there you are really close to the aquarium and the National Museum. We have a few favorites we have to mention while you're in Sydney. As far as restaurants go, we have two. The first is the Farmhouse King's Cross. It is only open for dinner Wednesday through Sunday and there is a lunch on Sunday as well. It is a tiny restaurant with a single table. It is chef run, chef owned, and has a fixed price menu, but it is not to be missed. It is absolutely essential that you get reservations, and I would tell you get reservations months in advance, but go there. Established in 1841, the Lord Nelson is one of Sydney's oldest continually run hotels and features a brewery with some really great beers and an amazing restaurant with exceptionally good local Australian food. We're at Lord Nelson's. They say it's the oldest hotel in Sydney. We're having fish and chips and a beer and it's so good that we were here last night and even though we're getting on a ship uh, our next cruise in a few minutes we had to come back here. It's pretty cool when land food beats cruise food and we were here last night we got a flight of their non- Pale Ale Light 
lighter white beers, but I have to tell you the winners are their dark beers. The winners are their dark beers. The fish and chips are really, really good. Uh, light batter, uh, everything about it, but the fish must be locally caught and it's really, really good. And the tartar sauce, it's a chunky tartar sauce. That's kind of a treat too. So the lettuce is like butter lettuce. You guys, that's really good. Butter lettuce is the real deal. That's no iceberg wedge, that's real butter lettuce. And the fish, check out those great big long fillets. And I'm gonna tell you, they are tender and they are creamy and they're not fishy, which is awesome. And I'm just gonna say, I don't like fish and chips. We love in these fish and chips, they're really good. The Sky Feast is a revolving restaurant at the top of the Sydney Tower. The views are amazing and it's a huge buffet. I can't say it's the best food I've ever eaten, but it is local and features everything you might wanna try while you're in Australia, including kangaroo, crocodile, and all of that other good kind of stuff. Sydney is an incredibly walkable city and I did make the walk all the way from White Bay Terminal over to Circular Quay and was able to walk across the major bridges because they all have pedestrian areas. So don't think that you can't walk around. So one of the really great things about Sydney as a walkable city is that all of the bridges have pedestrian and bike friendly areas. So even if you're walking in the middle of a high traffic area to get from one crowded area to another, you're gonna have a safe space to do it in on one of the bridges with pedestrian pathway. But I will tell you, ferries are an exceptionally good way to get around and they make for really nice sightseeing from the water into the city. The Rocks is always a busy area. I was there on a day with an outdoor market going on, which was really fun, but the cafes are always busy. The pubs are busy. There's great shopping in there. And you also have the Sydney Bridge Climb, which is really an experience and doesn't take nearly as much stamina or courage as you think it might. And the views are spectacular. Because it's so convenient to the overseas passenger terminal, we stayed at Ridges at the Rocks, which is a chain hotel. And I wouldn't say it's one of the best hotels we've ever stayed at, but the view is phenomenal. We had a corner room and we had that look right out onto the Opera House. But beware, if there is a ship in port, you won't be seeing the Opera House, you will be seeing a ship. Subscribe the channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing I want to know. <laughs> say, Is there anything you want to tell us about Sydney? Very nice people, very friendly. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney is a busy port and there is constant activity in the harbor, but it is always beautiful and the view is always changing and you don't want to miss a thing while you're here. We love this city. We've been here a number of times. We do think that you should probably get out of the city and get into the Blue Mountains, Manly. Bondi Beach or some of the other tourist areas that are just outside of the city. But at the harbor, you've got everything you expect to see and want to do. There you go. Good luck, guys. Thanks and, and have a nice journey. Thank <laughs> you. Bye-bye. Yeah, Take care. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us in Sydney. Check out one of our other videos from Australia. If you want to stay in New South Wales, let's look at Eden.